Hey guys, it is Danny, and I'm here with updates on Ada, which has weakened now to a tropical storm, and it's going to be weakening as it moves more inland, but we're expecting re-strengthening after it moves back over the warm ocean waters of the northwestern Caribbean, and this is also going to be a threat to Cuba and also the US. And so guys, before I go into all the necessary details on Ada, please Subscribe if you haven't and tap the bell so you know every time when I post a new video because I will keep you guys updated on tropical cyclone activity right throughout the season. And you can also follow me on Instagram. My weather account is Weather Girl Danny and my personal account is Danny Henry Official. And also, guys, you can join my Discord server which I recently created. The link to that is in the description below. And so, guys, now to um, Ada. So on satellite view right now, the close up view of it, we see that the storm is accelerating inland and it's definitely losing its characteristics because of, um, of course, nothing is there to fuel it. So automatically, this is going to be the result. But regardless, it is a rainfall threat and there are, um, there is flooding occurring in portions of Central America, guys. And actually, the rainfall is pretty widespread. When we look at a wide view of Ada, we see that as far as Jamaica and um, also um, Haiti is being affected by this and also the Cayman Islands and Cuba as well and so this is really going to be lingering for a while and has the rainfall across those regions guys so please be aware of that rainfall threat and so guys now to the National Hurricane Center's cone and so guys Ada is currently moving westward at 8 miles per hour and so a tropical storm warning is in place still for Nicaragua and also portions of Honduras as the system is going to be making its way to the west and then to the northwest and then making that curve it's going to be bringing all this rainfall into those portions of the US so Guatemala, Belize, El Salvador, Nicaragua and Honduras and possibly even the Yucatan as well really going to be feeling the um inclement weather conditions from this tropical system as it is going to be making its way more inland and then eventually back into the northwestern Caribbean and so we're then expecting that it's going to be it's going to re-strengthen to a storm maybe sometime on Saturday and then make a turn um, going to the northeast and then it's going to be moving into portions of Cuba and then going to be moving up north to Florida but here's the interesting part is Florida all of Florida going to be in for a direct hit um, most of our models, are, we are going to be going to that very shortly, most of them are showing that this is just going to be affecting the southern portion of Florida directly and then it could head to the rest of the Gulf Coast of the U.S. So maybe Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama are going to be in for yet another tropical cycle landfall. And so looking at the expected intensity... We are seeing that all of our models agree that this will definitely re-strengthen back to a tropical storm, some showing it re-strengthening to a hurricane, which isn't impossible at all with just the right conditions. Um, it just needs a small amount of time to um, rapidly intensify as it did from a cat 1 to a cat 4 in the space of around 15 hours. And so guys, looking at what the models are showing for the potential track of it, we have most of them agree in that this is going to be affecting the western portion of Cuba, maybe South Florida, and then making a turn into the Gulf of Mexico where it's likely to be headed to the Gulf Coast of the U.S., guys. So if you're in Florida or the Gulf Coast, please take necessary precautions because this could potentially be another dangerous threat. And also Cuba, of course, and I would say the Cayman Islands as well. And if you're in Jamaica, we could be in for... Um, some more inclement weather conditions from this tropical system guys so if you're there please take the necessary precautions and stay safe guys and so guys that is really it for this update and if you found this video to be pretty informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always be weatherwise and i'll keep giving updates on the tropics as time goes by